broke open his house and hunted for him, and not finding him, inquired which was his wife, then went to the bed where she lay and deliberately, and deliberately shot her through the brain. I'm gonna meet with historian Sheena Harris. I'm hoping she can tell me what happened to Moses after he appeared on the blacklist here. I was able to um, do some research in federal documents, and I found something with your great-great-grandfather's name on it that I want you to take a look at. Oh, wow. So, the subdistrict of Tuscaloosa, September 14, 1868. Mm -hmm. The last document that I read yesterday was dated September 8th, which was... Six days. days before this. Right. This is a federal document from the Freedmen's Bureau. Right. So the Freedmen's Bureau is an organization that's formed at the wake of the Civil War to help freedmen and women during their time in transitioning after slavery. The federal government is doing investigation during this time period of Klan activity. The Klan is in fear because here you have, they've lost the war. Many of these white men are disenfranchised now. They don't have the vote. And you have blacks who are now joining with the union, joining with the union league, and having this political voice. Sir, I have the honor to report the disagreeable fact that there has been two horrible murders committed in this county during the past week. On Friday night, the 10th, a gang of men disguised went to the house of a freedman in Norport by the name of Moses Hughes, broke open his house and hunted for him, and not finding him, inquired which was his wife, then went to the bed where she lay and deliberately, and deliberately shot her through the brain and left her dead. Okay, let me stop. Shot whose wife? Right, so now we're finding that the Klan have gone to the house um, of your great-great-grandfather. And while going into that house, they were looking for him. Or and they shot him, his wife. And they shot his wife, who was still laying in the bed. Whew. It's amazing that you can still 150 plus years later, still have anger about something, you know? <sighs> okay. Hughes saved his life for the time being by getting up the chimney, so they did not find him. So. He got away by hiding in the chimney. Mm -hmm. Right. It's very um, plausible that he knew that he was blacklisted. Mm -hmm. And so your great-great-grandfather and his wife may have known that the Klan were going to come to find him out. This was a very common thing to, for the woman to stay down and for the man to sort of hide mm -hmm. in that way until the scene um, cleared Clear. its way. And one thing you do find is that most of the women are not murdered. And so the fact that she is murdered can mean a number of different things. One of them primarily is that the Klan could use it as a way of trying to get your great-great-grandfather to come out of hiding. It does speak volumes to the amount of terror or fear that they're attempting to place in either your great-great-grandfather and also other locals. When I found out that Moses was about 50 years old, when he had his, the eldest of my great-grandmother's siblings. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, maybe he, um, you know, changed his name because he wanted to protect his other, his family before. And then to find this out is kind of, kind of sad. I don't think that I've, quite found out why um, he was in jail, so.
Unfortunately, this one doesn't reveal that, mm -hmm. but I do hope that in your um, quest for discovery that you find other documents that may be able to answer those questions fuller. Yeah, this has been a lot to take in, and hopefully my heart can take in more. <laughs> but I Good really luck on your journey. My two times great-grandfather risked everything and lost everything. To think that his wife, who we don't even know her name, you know, lost her life because of she supported her husband doing things to improve the quality of life for others. It's so sad, but it's kind of been the history of this country. And realizing that um, it's a good chance that um, this story is going to get worse before it gets better.